Are you excited for the re the inevitable remakes that are <laughs> gonna happen? Well, after after Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I at least hope that an outside team doesn't work on it. <laughs> Welcome everyone, more Pokemon uh, Coliseum. We're deep in the DLC. Well, Def is, I've already beaten it. Uh, last time uh, we got wrecked hardcore in this game. Uh, so yeah, that was a thing. Def, what did you think about us getting wrecked? You held me hostage until 2 a.m. again. Yeah, that, that, was, um. <laughs> that was the thing. So speaking of uh, 2 a.m., uh, we're gonna do a little change with the rest of the Coliseum just because I want to see how well it does. We're gonna cut back on uploads from three to two, uh, mainly so that way I don't have to spend like all day Saturday editing, and I can focus more on each individual like episode and edit longer, without like you know suffering with just a bunch of different ones. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, also, real quick, another PSA is uh, our Pokemon are all level 41. Well, except Moltres is level 40, and Top Maniac's 43. I felt like that was a pretty solid level. Uh, I have hacked in rare candies. If you don't like it, oh well, get over it. Uh, <laughs> that's that. So what are we doing? Do we? Oh, that's right. We were going to challenge the Coliseum because we hadn't challenged it yet. Because we were already here. Yeah. Welcome to the Under Coliseum. A knockout challenge just ended a short while ago. I'll start registration. Registering trainers for the next knockout challenge as soon as Lady Venus finishes giving her prizes to the winner. Oh, well, Def, we can't do the Coliseum. Oh, we needed to... We had a thing we are supposed to give to someone. Uh... Uh... I had to speed up the game for that. Yeah, I was trying to go to the, the power... We needed to, go to give this to the antenna person. That's what it was. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, who are you? <laughs> you brought the power up part from Parrot? 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 <laughs> Great, I was looking... I was waiting for that. Huh? Are you the Wes and Rui? Dude, we're famous. Oh, wow, this is too awesome. Come on, you have to get inside. Quick, quick. Dun dun. Def, they're going to give us a million dollars. What do you Holy. think they're doing here? Well, you probably know, so don't say it, but. <laughs> Meg! Net! You wouldn't believe who just dropped in for a visit. We got some shocking company. Meg. Meg. Shocking company? Trying to be too shocked when you hear it. It's Wes and Rui. No, really? Ben, is that true? Is Wes really here? These names are so weird. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what Meg is supposed to. Oh man, Megabyte. Maybe but he's like, but Bit is like actually Bit, and then Megas. Net is like internet. Yeah, I, I thought it was gonna be like Nesbit type deal. Like, <laughs> see for yourself. Like, if you combine their names, it's like Nesbit. We're slowly walking. Oh. Oh, you're actually walking. I was. I thought. I. I. <laughs> my controller oh, might have some. Slowly. <laughs> my controller might have some drift. Hi, I'm Net. Second pirate has told me all about what you're doing. What you've been doing so far. There you go. Oh, this is from Pear. Great. This is all that I need to get the kids' grid back up and running again. Oh, that's right, the kids' grid. You're welcome. Oh, it appears to be Nets PC. I better explain. A little while ago, we somehow lost access to the kids' grid. We think it was caused by a jamming signal. That's what's interfering with the kids' grid. So, uh, a jamming signal's interfering with the kids' grid. It's probably Venus is doing. But this power up part you delivered will let me boost up our equipment. When we get the kids' grid back up, I'll try to hack the computers for useful data. Hacking in progress. Hacking. Let me also hack. All right, so what do we do now? Ned is a genius. He's been gathering all sorts of data on those crooks. Shouts to the kids being uh, heroes once more. <laughs> My big brother Ned managed to get a little bit of data out of Cypher's computers. The data says there's a lab somewhere that makes shadow Pokemon. Yeah, is it the lab that we can't get into? Oh, Wes. Oh, That's oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, sorry. I, I, saw, I saw a bit looking. I thought it was him. <laughs> well, he is like nodding his head in an awkward thing. Maybe he's checking out Rui. Uh, oh, Wes, wait, please. May I have your P-Star DA number? 
We'll contact you just as soon as we discover anything. There you go. Thank you. We'll do our best to gather useful information for you. I just realized the game audio might have been doubling up there. So it should be fixed. Good <laughs> thing I caught it now. <laughs> well, you might also just be able to turn off later, right? Unless it's on like a track. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. The spy! We spotted the spy! I don't know who that is. I also don't know who that is. Is it you? It's a spy! Where? Where? Did you watch the direct? I did watch the direct. We'll have to talk about that when we battle. I can't believe they skipped this first one. <laughs> I got to thinking that maybe you folks were the spies, but I've seen... Or I've seen I've been barking up the wrong tree. Yeah? Where are the spies at, Duff? Uh, are you talking about uh, Thousand Yard Door? Thousand yard door? <laughs> thousand yard door? It's got a thousand yard stare. Yeah, let me go. Let me go. Shut up. It's hopeless. Quit struggling. <laughs> this dude well, gets in I trouble mean, all the time. I, 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 I can say this much. I was certainly not expecting uh, Subar, but he did not have a post game. <laughs> now you'll be a good boy. Last still. The, uh, so I've never played Super Mario RPG or A Thousand Year Door, so to me that direct was very middling. Well, I mean, it was a lot of stuff there, so it was a lot of stuff that I knew about and I was like not expecting to see, but like I was not expecting Trace Memory to get a sequel. Well, I was not expecting Trace Memory to get trans uh, Trace Memory sequel to actually get translated and also be remade. I was Is that the like uh, the one that like has like a Wii the thing? One, the one with the girl, um, the girl with the white hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, 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 I was watching. It, I'm like, uh, is this something that I care for? And like, it's, I was probably, watching, it's, it's, it's a puzzle game, so I know if you would. Yeah, like, it, it wasn't super interesting to me. Um, that being said, if you're a Mario fan, you, you're eating good. That's true. I'll say that because. Uh, there is a whole lot of uh, Mario games. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting, yeah, they just like threw out like 10 Mario games all in the, <laughs> I was like 10 Mario games in a year. But uh, I mean, hey, if you if you hated Battle in Wonderworld, you are probably very excited. I mean, if you wanted to like Battle in Wonderworld, you're probably excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, one thing that's- I, I, I'm assuming I'm, that's actually good anyway. Yeah. Of course. One thing, uh, people have said is like some of the stuff is like the switch is kind of like because the switch is ending it's like lot cycle a deal like some of the like they're trying to save some of the stuff and like trying to like peter it out i guess uh which makes sense uh do you think palo swan lives a mock punch i mean palo swan definitely is a mock punch cool. wait do you have technician no right i don't know uh, you know we never checked Actually, I think we did check. You have Intimidate, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have Intimidate. <laughs> That's why we didn't check. Or we did. Agility, the area is throwing. But yeah, uh, other news. We've, the Pokemon DLC is out. Uh, Dev, I was, we've been talking about the Pokemon DLC for an hour. Uh, but, well, not really an hour. It's been like 40 minutes, roughly. Uh, what do you think of us going to Unova? I, I was going to ask that, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait and see what you think about it and get your hot take. Well, I mean, we're going to we're going to Unova. That's exciting, I guess. Are you excited for the re the inevitable remakes that are <laughs> gonna happen? Well, after after Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I at least hope that outside team doesn't work on it. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to get uh, who is it that does it? No, I actually totally forgot. Many people could be invited. It's the ones that did home, but I can't remember their yeah, name. They home. Someone in the comments, let us know. Uh oh, Hellglow. Okay. This bull beat's setting up. But yeah, uh, I I hope it's not, like, terrible. The, uh, I guess we'll find out. Well, if you think about it, think, think about it this way, right? Yeah. I, and I, and this, is, this is always my frame of reference. A lot of people were asking for a, for a, for Gen 4 remakes. I never hear anybody ask about Gen 5. Remakes. Well, I mean, I hear some people talk about it, but then, like, I think people stopped talking about it once BDSP came out. Yeah, for, it's been unusually silent about remakes ever since DSP came out. I mean, for a good reason as well. Of course. Well, I'm actually going to Waterfall, actually. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't Elder, like, slower than Topping Hack? Yeah. Uh, well, Triple Axel, and we're just going to... 
great ball. Dum ba dum dum. Snag ball, I mean. But yeah. So, Def, guess what? What? <laughs> Ogre Pun exists. It really sure nice. does. I was not expecting its face to look like that. <laughs> I really like its face. <laughs> I've warmed up to it. A lot. What, you didn't like it at first? Well, like, I never hated it at first, but, like, at the same time, um, I was like, we're gonna, try to be, uh, we're gonna try to be as big as possible about this, by the way. Yeah, I we're missed gonna, it. Like, we're probably gonna talk spoilers, even though it's gonna be out, like, three weeks after the DLC comes out. But it's still, like, yeah. spoiler territory, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Next week, though, get ready. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Once we both beat the DLC. There's a lot of, uh, there's a really cool fight that's coming up for you, Dev, at some point. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what you're thinking about it. Cause I, so I've beaten it. My Scarlet stream's still going on, but I've beaten it personally. It took me like 12 hours while I was at work. But uh, the uh, the fight that's happening is, uh, I should have seen that coming. There were threats. Why is Volbeat like a nightmare and everything? We I don't know, dude. I don't know what you've done to make Volbeat mad at us, but stop it. Dun, 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 dun. I will yeah. say this though, um, I would vastly recommend for anyone who hasn't played it yet, uh, play the game with level 65 Pokemon. If you, you know, want to give anyone there a fighting chance to actually have fun with it instead of just one-shotting everything. <laughs> yeah, even if, uh, even like the high 50s would work, like what I did. Yeah, I, I'm honestly like high 50s. Um, I only say that because if you uh, so like for Isle of Armor, right, I basically just like, didn't care and did well. I, I say that, but there's like there's like no fights that I have armor. I think about it. No. Even Crown Tundra doesn't have a lot of fights either. Well, that's not necessarily true. There are more fights in Crown Tundra than Isle of Armor, I think. Yeah, because you have the Nia stuff in Crown Tundra. I do. Th yeah. Like I said, I told Death this. I think that this DLC is infinitely better than the Sword and Shield DLCs from uh like a well, story. Well, I mean, Isle, Isle of Armor was like. <laughs> that was pretty. Oh, I, I said, like, but it's like it's clearly like first pass DLC stuff. Do you think Palaswan lives anything? Actually, it's set up a bunch. I'm gonna dazzling claim it. Amnesia a bunch. I'll eat an ultra ball just in case. Um, but yeah, I uh, I remember but, like the like Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra when it came out. The uh, Isle of Armor was like, whatever. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you, if you had friends, Crown Tundra was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you didn't, it was like, it was also pretty mad because you have to go and do all that stuff yourself with stupid AI. Yeah. Which, again, I was telling Def this, the, there's a mini game. Uh, this isn't really a spoiler because they've talked about it in the trailers. The Ogre Ousting mini game. It's multiplayer. And y you get a free shiny from it if you beat the hard one, like the hardest difficulty. And, With friends, apparently. Well, you pretty much have to have friends uh, <laughs> from it, so there's that. It's uh, it's something. I've only beaten easy. I uh, haven't tried medium difficulty. Normal, I guess, would be the correct pronunciation for it. Uh, I might try it some after we finish recording or something. I don't know. Definitely. Do you want to do a run? Let me finish my points first so that it does that every day. So, like, oh, yeah. Finish your point. <laughs> For the, the few battles that are in in uh, Isle Farmer, I just use like my level 100 Pokemon and just like ran through it. Granted, it's level 100 Zorua, Dark Zorua, by the way, because it was Gen 8. <laughs> but uh, I just basically just ran through that entire thing with that, and it was pretty simple. By the way, these two guys are called Cloak and Dagger. Oh, they are called Cloak and Dagger. Also, uh, I'm not super healed up, guys. Slow bro. What do we got? Something I will say though is, yeah. if they are going to add in a DLC a year after the game comes out, and they're not gonna try and match up with your relative levels, the DLC is gonna be easy, fight wise anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. They also just gave you a Mewtwo like days before it came out. Imagine like, using the Mewtwo. Came out, though. Um, it's something you can do. Yeah. I mean, I feel like a lot of the and, DLC and you, is like... And if, and if, you, if you had the resources to actually get that Mewtwo, you can probably, you probably like beat the Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the DLC's challenge is really going to be up to the player to see how much they want to challenge it. 
If you go through with hundreds, you're gonna sweep. No problem. Uh, but if you go through like what you were saying with like high fifties, like mid sixties, you'll find yeah, like, a like, decent like, challenge. Like, like, end, like end game level instead of like post game level. Yeah. So well, like it worked out because my Scarlet playthrough, like everyone was like high sixties. Uh, I did I notice that. I actually, I actually looked at my 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 story team for that because I still have them. I didn't really use them afterward. They they're like level seventy, so they they would match up with the DLC if I decided to use them. But I just yeah wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Also, hey, I uh so like in Scarlet, like because I always have two versions that I play, like one stream playthrough and one personal playthrough. Uh, my Scarlet, I didn't like pay as much attention to like the Pokedex or whatever. And one of the side quests is you need 150 in the Kitakami decks. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks if you didn't like 100% complete. Well, I say 100% complete. If you didn't, if you didn't get a large part of the Pallier decks, because yep. 100 of them uh, are from there. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, like 100 of the one from the from Pallier are in the Kitakami decks. Yep. So you just get like a free pass to do whatever you want. Yep. I so an hour before I started streaming, I was moving things from home into uh, uh, Scarlet to get it. Uh, oh, by the way, what was your egg? Oh, I haven't hatched it yet. I still have oh, okay. it. Um, I didn't actually find the professor like till I beat the DLC. Oh yeah, I found him like at the start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you don't know what's in it? I, don't, I know that it's the sin, like one of the Sinnoh starters. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't know what, like which one I've got specifically. What am I, I finding? You're fighting a Lydian. And an Illumis. <laughs> and, and an Illumise, so you know how that is. Yeah, well, you know. Ice Punch. <laughs> You're holding back on us. Jeez, that was did that, so much damage. I was, was that a crit? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. They definitely buff Ladian. I never thought I'd be afraid of a Ladian, but here I am. I don't well, know why else we just go. It's Ladian and Illumise are about to end Neptune's entire career. No. Nah. They're about to go the way of the Sega Neptune. <laughs> Second Neptune was great. Uh oh, it didn't exist. That's the thing. Well, now it's a two v one, so it's gonna be no, up not. to Guard of War to carry here. Cause that was it. Uh, it's okay though, because you, I can. You, well, you can probably just for okay. I was about to say you can probably just revive uh, Moltres. I guess I could have. But it's too late. Take out the Ladian. Body yeah, now the Illumisa is gonna kill you. <laughs> nah, it hasn't set up or anything. Oh, you know what though? Oh no, uh, fairy resist bug. So. Well, it's using dazzling gleam, so it doesn't yeah. matter. I was worried about that. What, uh, if, what if Illumisa is also a fairy? <laughs> yeah, I think Illumisa is a fairy. I could imprison it. <laughs> I could. And then, and then what would you do? We'd just use a bug group, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which is normally effective. Yeah. I'm just doesn't seem like the best idea. I, I don't mean, think you knock out on that, by the way. I also don't. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, we got Eliminate. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to play the safe play. I'm going to revive our Moltres. And hope that this thing doesn't have an electric move. <laughs> Surely it does. Def, don't say that. My chicken. My Gur chicken. Oh, this is also weak in this. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's split. We took that. Garvor. Have you seen uh, Garvor just walking around? I I've seen a bunch of Rolks running around. Yeah, I saw a Garvor walking around. It was, uh, it was something. I was like, oh, okay. I'm really glad Lotad's in the game. You know who I feel like hasn't been in a 3D game in a while? Timber. Timber has never been in a 3D game. Well, it's, a, it's not necessarily true. It's been one of six, I think. Yeah. I think. I don't know. But I'm glad that's the case. I don't case. think it has. It's also available to six. Yeah. I, uh... Oh, back when I was going back and, like, moving home, I, I got distracted because this fight was actually hard, but when I was moving Pokemon from home to Scarlet, boy, was that a nightmare. Like, it sucked. Because you can't just put Pokemon in home, or from home to the game, and then move them back. You have to, like, do it and save every time. Uh, like each box, and like I said, it uh, it took a while. Are, are, are you not gonna rescue the guy you just? I'm going to go heal, it? is what I'm going to do because we haven't talked since I did my Emerald Kazo stream. How, how do you think I did? You think I beat it? I don't think you made Roxanne. 
I have not made it to Roxanne. That was um, great. <laughs> I am right in front of Roxanne, though. Guess how many team ops I've had. But yeah, I'm pretty happy of my uh, Emerald Kazo uh, venture so far, Def. I found a Bulbasaur. I'm sure you're pretty excited to hear that. I picked Sceptile or Trico as my starter. Grass all the way, huh? Yeah. Apparently, Trico's like the best one for Emerald Kazo. Isn't it like evolve into this and Sceptile like a dragon in that game? Or do they not change any of that? I don't know if they change it or not, but the uh, it's from where he's like a really fast revenge killer type deal. And he gets Leaf Blade early. All right, Def, do you know where we're actually supposed to go? This is the part where I tell you that my memory gets hazy about this game. Oh, okay, so we're really looking around for a while. Dun, dun, dun. Should I skip what they said? Oh, it helps. Uh, they said they were running away. I remember what they said. Did they say where they're running away? No. Mm, hang on, it says the two of them flee, and you talk to someone through the gates. Oh, you do? You talk yeah. To... I mean... Through the gates is not quite something I quite understand. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, by the way, this, uh, this, this walkthrough is based on the Japanese names. That's why I can't tell exactly where it is. <laughs> What's the Japanese name, Def? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Suruba. Suruba. It's yeah. probably this dude. Do you think, uh, you're going to beat the DLC today? Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. S Silva, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Wes, it's me, Silva, from Dookings. <laughs> I discovered that they were bringing Shadow Pokemon to Pyrite from here. That's as far as I got when they caught me like this. But I did manage to filch this from them. Here you go. Nice. Oh, our disc? I think it's an item that's useful, only down here in the under. We got a reverse disc. So what were you saying? Uh, do you think you'll beat the DLC today? Uh, I'll probably beat it over the weekend, when I am going to be playing it literally all day, probably. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, do you think uh, second DLC will be out like December? Uh, it does say 2023. Then they really only have one more season to go. So, well, I think it's how it worked for Isle of Armor, right? Actually, no, I think Isle of Armor came out the year after. Yeah, Isle of Armor and. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Crown Tundra. Yeah, came out Crown Tundra was right? like they had a big space for it. Oh, it's the newscast station. Let me... Oh, we can't save. Uh, uh, I'm... So, last time I learned that safe states are really important. Uh, so, we don't have to keep resetting the layout. So, I'm safe stating. Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the air. That's you, again. <laughs> it sure is. You there, you're distracting me. Quiet on the set. I'm here. Testing, testing. The rain is. The, the, the rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. Lady Venus is especially confident in her right profile. Yeah. Hello. It's a good thing I'm on the left. <laughs> yes. You two. You're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait, who are you? Ah, I recognize those faces. Those faces are on the blacklist for the headquarters. How'd you find us? That's not important now. I'll squash you myself and collect the reward from Master Nascor. Sephiroth. Did you watch the PlayStation State of Play thing too? By the way, why is there a sound? Their sound is just very quiet for some reason now. There is no sound for me. Really? Yep. Looks like your save state messed me up. Did it or is it just quiet on Discord now? Let me, uh... Here, I'll stop streaming. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Uh, anyways, what are, we, what are we finding? Ampharos and a Delcaddy? Hmm. Oh, uh, right. I just remember what the gimmick for this one is. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, I believe I know what it is. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to fake out the Ampharos. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fake out the Delcaddy. And I'm going to swap. What do you, what do you think the Delcaddy is going to do? Fake out. That is uh, good. I mean, good, 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 good guess, good guess. Not what I meant, though. Not what I was thinking about it anyway. Oh, uh, explode. Ah, like shift tree. Explode. <laughs> oh, it's helping hand. I see. I picked the wrong target. Also, this, also that was not what I was expecting Bill Caddy to do. 
to I happen. thought this was an attract team, which can still happen. <laughs> Look at Delcaddy, it's so chunky. Good thing I predicted that here. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to triple kick and I'm going to bulldoze. Oh, There's not this garbage. <laughs> Elder, I really need you to not be in love. How many of your teammates currently are male, by the way? Uh, we're about to find out. Surely well, Genesis at least, at, least you, at least you stopped the problem before it became a problem. Actual one. Yeah. Dun, dun. Well, this is good. Neutral on Venusaur. Super effective on Ampharos. Wait a minute. That did nothing to Ampharos. Didn't you just hit top me at that? No, you didn't. No, that's cool, though. I see. I see. Uh, male? Actually... Half your team isn't affected by a trap. Yeah. Which is super good. Um, I'm going to... Triple Axel the Venusaur? And Bulldoze? Nice. Wouldn't the Venusaur also have thick fat? Yeah, but this should do a lot of damage. Well, that should. one. Actually, I guess that one could have had thick fat. Yeah, I don't know if it does or doesn't. I think it knocks out, though. Bam. Get, Get out of here. Get out of here, you froggy frog. You froggy tree, even though you're a tree and not a frog. Definitely. So you mean it's a frog? It's not. <laughs> you know. Oh, Bennett. Male Bennett. Melbourne at Thunderwave. This team is evil. But you're having an easier time than you were with Daki. Yeah, I am. So far. <laughs> yeah, so far. At least I know Bennett can't, like, do anything. Like, you know. Well, I mean, you don't know if I think that's Prankster or not in this game. Yeah. I'm going to just triple click, quick, triple, triple kick, and bulldoze. Triple click. What are you going to? Oh, swapping out from Amphros? Steelix? That triple kick, Bennett? Good question. That body slam did a whole he lot. Shouldn't have. Oh, yeah, it's probably normal ghost in this game. A lot of people like to make, make that normal ghost. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Man, I hope I did not do a really dumb thing. Oh, so Steelix speed fell. You know what oh, I'm really yeah. excited about in the DLC, Death? Didn't matter. No, yeah. no, no, I never know. Oh, it's got leftovers. Uh, Gligar. Oh, yeah, I was looking forward to it. I actually, I actually forgot Gligar was in the DLC, and then I remembered. I really and guess what? Yeah. I got a Razor Fang as soon as I realized, so I was like, oh, cool. Oh, did you? I don't have a Razor Fang yet. I, yeah, uh, I, found one, I found one in a cave. Oh, nice. I wanted to just shiny hunt Gligar and Glasgow, because they have really good shinies, in my opinion. It sucks Maybe. that they're Scarlet exclusives, though. Oh, so that's why I couldn't find them. Okay. Yeah. We got Apom. <laughs> Apom. Yeah. I know, Dev, calm down. I know that that's your favorite Pokemon. So. Also, wouldn't you only be able to find Gligar at night? So theoretically, you wouldn't be able to get it during the story. Unless you're like, doing it at a very specific time. Maybe? Oh, also, uh, when I was leveling up, Umbreon got Yawn. Um, so, I've got Yawn now on Umbreon. So I feel like that's probably really good. Did we miss? We did miss. All right, well, I'm going to triple kick again, and I'm just gonna crunch the banette. Get it out of here before it does anything. You wanna be sure if it's normal ghost. You have to use a ghost type move on it. Yeah? Yeah? I could. I'm surprised people make it normal ghost. I would never take banette as a normal ghost type. Well, it's like a doll, so I guess that part makes people make it a normal type. Oh, this Ampharos is about to get bodied in this thing, Earthquakes. Oh, uh, Rock Slots. <laughs> That's not terrible. And we avoid it. Come on, don't miss. Nice. Well, I mean, once, once the animation starts, you know you didn't miss. It's not like Pokemon's Well, I meant, I said miss, I meant paralysis. Uh, I'm going you to- You saw the animation play out too. <laughs> I'm going to triple kick, because I don't believe it's Mach Punch. I don't think Mach Punch KOs. Do you think so? I think it KOs. Well, you might miss Triple Kick. We should know Mach Punch will hit. Yeah. 
And I'm going to simply uh, use an item. Oh, I forgot we have Scald. Uh, I'm gonna use a. Yeah, full... you, you still never give that to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Scald's back in the game, by the way. It is. I actually just found Scald. So, I don't remember where it's at, uh, but I know it's in the game because I've got it. I just don't remember. Bro, you find me in a random HM on the floor. <laughs> HM? It's a random TM, sorry. Scald HM confirmed? Oh god, not this. Surprise, package. surprise, it's Articuno. Surprise, surprise, it's a Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> So does that mean Mirror B has Zapdos? No. Oh. Yeah, this was uh, not nearly as bad. Um, Mirror B had a pseudo wheel. That's what he will have. <laughs> uh, so there's only one thing that I think we can do against this bird. And that honestly, is our I think own he can, bird. Honestly, I think he just sit on Neptune and just called mind again. Yeah, that's that's going to be my play. Um, I'm going to... Well, Lambros is attract, by the way. Oh, we got clear body. Nice. I'm gonna calm on and. Wait, where's Articuno? Clear body. Who do you think is a bigger threat, Articuno or Ampharos? Well, you had to put Articuno to sleep eventually, anyway. Yeah. If you're, if you're going to catch him. I sure. Also, that's I sure. That's fine. You're going to sleep. <laughs> Doing. Maybe we'll get lucky. Dun dun dun. dun. Look at this, yawn. Also, I'm getting really tired of seeing Puchina and Maida with freaking yawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, what did it do? Better wait. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to psychic you and... That's going to be... That's going to be... Did decide not to yawn and for us. Yeah. Um, and... Wait a minute. I'm going to call mod and I'm going to just... I'm just gonna crunch Ampharos. Arcudo will go to sleep next turn. Going to sleep don't... this turn. Yeah, that's what I'm at. Come on, Ampharos, don't go into Neptune, please. Oh, uh, yeah, to use a physical attack for that, which I don't think I'd worry about. Yeah. I think I really want to knock Ampharos out before I do anything. Oh, they hit with Thunderbolt, so I'm Breon. Nice. Ooh, that was pretty solid. That was pretty By solid. By the way, you still have, uh, you still have Psycho, right? Or did you get rid of it? No, I got rid of it. Okay. What are you still Oh, it has a Lumberry! <laughs> you son uh, of a gun. You know, I think, I think the... I, didn't Moltis also have a Lumberry? Yeah, it did. It did. Um, okay, so how do I want to handle this, then? Uh, do I want to just take out Ampharos with Neptune? You're about to get hit with a nice shirt. I am. Well, nice I was going to... So I was gonna take out Ampharos with a Psychic, right? You're not gonna be able to act because because Neptune's gonna get killed with a nice shard. And Neptune is not gonna be getting killed because I can eliminate. Then Luna dies. <laughs> Assuming, well, Luna doesn't die if we kill Ampharos. Okay, Luna survives. Now then we can heal and yawn again. I think we can take one Ice Shard as well. I don't know if Luna can take. I don't know if Luna takes less than 18 HP from my shard. Well, I meant like. I'm assuming that it's going into Luna, right? We, well, it keeps attacking Neptune, so I'm gonna say no. I guess that's. Fair. Also, keep in mind you are calm minded twice. Yeah, the, uh, the thing is, like, I feel like the better play for Neptune, like, does Neptune. I think Neptune takes an Ice Shard steal and we can heal luna actually luna could just move on uh actually if it's just going to neptune i mean i guess we heal neptune and we yawn with luna wait why did i was like why didn't he fall asleep right he had a lumber yeah oh so he did oh. go to luna okay so i should have done the other thing i should have healed luna i didn't know which one they would go to I could have double healed, I guess. Not the end of the world. We have Venusaur. I don't know why you didn't just send out Moltres. Ah, uh, Sleep Powder. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, and I'm going to just eat a Pokeball. Because <laughs> I'm afraid to attack it. And Sleep Powder. So. 
Watch this step. First try, baby. Never punished. But a Pokeball? And it's possible, I guess. Not totally. We got a shake, though. I was saying, the fact that I shook once is a miracle to me. I wonder if they've made Articuno more of a physical attacker? Hit. Come on, Venusaur. Yeah, look at him spread those... Oz. <laughs> They're really far apart. They are really far apart. All right, well, Udu uh, Udu Kuno, Udu Kuno, Death. Uh, do we? I mean, you, you can call him Neptune if you want to do anything. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's probably worth calming and like, sure, it probably eats a sludge bomb. Uh, I doubt it's one shot myself. I'll use crits. Neptune. Like, Neptune's not listening. <laughs> she seems unresponsive. I guess the other option is like I can use Neptune's turn to like keep healing stuff. Like go ahead and heal Venusaur completely up just to take some more. Uh, there we go. And let Venusaur do the work here. You would wake up. Dun 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 dun. dun. Look at Venusaur. Def, my Axolotl Bob, he's being such a brat. Easy now? Yeah, he doesn't want to do anything now. Is he stick? No, no, he's just lazy. <laughs> Clearly you should get him to exercise. Take him for a walk. <laughs> just a casual walk? That's probably good HP. He could go and say get for him. He's also sleep at first. Yeah. First turn wake, I can't believe it. Articuno's bad Civ. This fight was, is this fight supposed to be worse than the other fight? Dude, Dakim is way worse, are you kidding? Like, <laughs> you I saw what Dakim did. <laughs> By the way, yeah, normally this is a Suicune. Oh yeah, which I... doesn't get killed by her own Pokemon immediately enough. Yeah. There's no uh, odd spread move type deals. Yeah. I guess Discharge would've been kind of annoying. If discharge isn't in Gen 3. Well, it might be in this game. Dude, Ampharos wasn't using it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, who did I use the Ultra Ball? Neptune? Yeah, that's fine. And I can get... get I, actually, you know what? I'm going to play it safe and heal. Because I want Venusaur to stay alive for uh, Sleep Powder Shenanigans. Surely we'll get lucky, right? Well, I hope. You didn't tell me to buy a bunch of Ultra Balls this time, so... Well, uh, we're out of money. I think we're out of money, are we? So the question is, do we want to use Articuno or Neck Chicken? Rubber Chicken. Uh, which, which one do you prefer? They're both weak to the same thing. <laughs> we only have six Ultra Balls. I'm going to, uh... I mean, this is a... You know where you're... I mean, it's like Articuno, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, you... Uh, by the way, you just lost the sound again. You, you're gonna want to, like, not be picky. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why that's happening now. I, I don't know. Uh. Hopefully Articuno stays asleep. Hey, hey, I got Ho-Oh with a great ball. You can do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll kick a drain just to get some chip damage. Hopefully Articuno stays asleep for a bit. So is there another, I'm assuming there's at least one more admin before Sephiroth then. Yeah. You already met him. Oh, have I? Yeah, so I'm last week. We caught Articuno! <laughs> dun 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 Like, we see his name thrown out a lot already. Oh. I don't remember him. <laughs> Should I remember him? I mean... He is pretty smart. <laughs> oh yeah, he's the dude that looks like what's-his-face from Team Plasma. Team... Uh, Galactic. You mean Charon? I don't think he looks like Charon. Yeah. Although, although I'm pretty sure you made that. You made that. I, I thought he again. did, but he did. <laughs> so, ah, that's right. Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down. I don't know who's talking, but sure. I ah, was the... Right away. <laughs> ah, how dare you? How can I get best by a mere boy? Remember this. I'll get you back for this. Yeah. Yeah, that team is way worse. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Whether you're trying to catch uh, all the Shadow Pokemon, he'll knock out his own, or just. This team is ridiculous on its own, too. We got Dazzling Gleam. Check for Skull. Yeah, you have to learn Skull. 
We do have scald. Check for scald. See if I can let me. Well, we got to like follow. Right? We got to read this. Final report. Resource extraction from the under is almost complete, with the last of the mining due to be finished within the month. While it is concerned that the materials required for creating Shadow Pokemon have not been found elsewhere, our current supply should sustain production for five years at least, provided the purification issue was addressed, or can see more Shadow Pokemon than ordinary Pokemon in a matter of years. One of my junior researcher assistants recently spoke at length about the possibility for an even more powerful Shadow Pokemon, one whose heart can never be opened by any means. Although her vernacular is a tad bit peculiar, I do believe Lavrinia's suggestion has some merit. Further investigations will have made. So are they talking about Lugia? Uh, I'm pretty sure that file, well, at least that, that file did not have that in it originally if it was there, because Lavrinia definitely wasn't mentioned in Colsey. <laughs> I'm assuming she's in XD though, right? Yes, she's a scientist in XD. Oh, let's go down here. Uh, and yeah, I, I assume they're referring to Lugia in that case. Oh, she's running away. She's not running away. She is. It's locked from this side. Yeah, unlock it. Uh, are we gonna have to like re-unlock it? <laughs> what if it's closed behind you? Yeah. Again? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, let me heal before we save. That wasn't too bad of a fight. I don't know if it's because we were like not uh, super under level either. Because the other thing about da Daikim, Daki, Ma Daki Mama, Daki, da da Daki Daddy. <laughs> Daki Makura? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, we were like really under leveled for that fight. Dun, dun. I mean, you were still under leveled. Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's still. Oh, like, did you, did you want to get. Oh. Um. Arcuno or yeah, we should do some swapping, some swappy swaps. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna have all three other birds <laughs> on our team. Oh, I hit the speed up button. Uh, Pokemon storage. We also have uh, Palo Swan to add. We'll swap out Wish Cash for Articuno, and we'll teach Articuno Scald. I love a double electric weakness. Do we have two people weak to electric? Yeah, the legendary birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good thing we have a ground top in the box to really mitigate that. You walked out the wrong exit. I did walk out the wrong exit. I'm assuming that locks and we can't open it. If I'd have to take a guess. Which uh, which one of the birds do you like the most? Zapdos. No question. Dude, that thing's special attack is wild. The flame body and clear body. Is that a purse? So what does Zapdos got? Lightning body? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Plasma body. Hello. Oops, there are other spots. You're not getting past me. Imagine this one trainer just chilling here. And then all of a sudden you see two legendary birds just show up in your face. Well, you're about to, you don't even have to imagine that. What would your reaction be? No, where'd you get these from? Be like Tobias in the anime. Just chilling with him? Yeah. Ah, good old Moltres. Uh, which one of these is a bigger threat, you think? I'm leaning towards the Butterfree. Stable, I probably has Fake Out. Well, last time I tried to predict the Fake Out, it didn't work, so. And it didn't work this time. You know, I always thought Moltres was a physical attacker. I was figuring only Zapdos was the. I thought Zapdos was a physical attacker. Really? Yeah. Only because that's drill pack when you first get it. Uh oh, Earth Ring. That Earth Ring looks a little charcoal burnt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is a problem. Uh oh. We live that. Conda. Uh, so, good thing, Death, that we can Shadow Rush and Moltres, we can swap out for a Venusaur. Because Venusaur will take it. I mean, Top Maniac can also take it. Yeah, Top I mean, Maniac. Top Maniac, there's nothing against it. Yeah, well, Top Maniac does something against Earth Ring. Actually, Top Maniac would probably be better because I got the Intimidate against Earth Ring. So, you know. Look at that damage. Sableye's kind of scary. Look at him go through it. Strength? Uh oh. Dun, dun, dun. That's some strength. That is some strength. Power Gym? We eat this. Do you survive this? Yeah. Of course it did. It's a Venusaur. Do you think Earth Strings are ground top? 
I think Earth Ring is a ground type. I also think it is. Top Maniac, get out there. Venusaur? Do you think Venusaur's faster? Nope. Than Earth Ring? Yeah. I'll heal just in case. We should stock up on Lemonades as well again. So, I'm assuming this is like a whole other dungeon complex type deal? Right? Uh, I don't remember. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Fake tears? Oh no. Oh, this is gonna really hurt. This will really hurt. That didn't though. I was not expecting support Ursaring. Um. Just use strength. Yeah. Uh, alright, let's see if we're faster. We missed. Uh, you're not more accurate, I'm sure. <laughs> Top Maniac forgot his glasses at home. It's okay, though. Not ground time, by the way. You know, he's normal fighting. I don't, I, I, I don't know if they leave this thing just, like, as a normal type. Lick. Alright. This Earth Ring is wild. Lick. Fake Tears. Strength? Uh oh. Go for top wow, if you want. Especially if it crits. No, Venusaur, my beloved Pokemon. Oh, I did go bring my uh, Wooper, by the way, for the DLC. Oh, what? So it can meet the other Wooper? <laughs> yeah. I want a shiny on Wooper because I don't have a shiny Quagsire. I have a sh shiny Wooper, Wooper, but that's it. Uh. Oh, that's not I think psychic would have been better. Oh, never mind. Would it be better, though? Well, I, against Earth Ring, you probably would have knocked it out. I'm saying against the. Against Sableye, that's not being as better. Look how small Sableye is. Look at this. Watch this death. Bam. Still a normal top. So, what do you well, think I mean, of. Uh, that, I mean, nothing, nothing you did actually. I, I, it doesn't even prove it wasn't a fight attack. I guess it's just a normal fight. Yeah. What are you saying? What do you think of Perrin? I can't remember if that's how you actually pronounce her name. She's cool, I guess. Oh, I shut up, him, so. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Don't go for Gardevoir. You won't. I knew it. The good news is Gardevoir is kind of useless in this pod. So I'm going to triple axle the Wii's. See? It should be fine. And Dazzling. This should take out the save off. If not, then Gardevoir is off the team. I think, I think you got to see why. Because it didn't. It did. Oh, not before. No. Look at Sableye. He's splitting in two. What, uh, do you know what Perrin's doing? I don't know how. I can't remember if she says what she's doing when you first talk to her. Like she's Washington. taking pictures I for her cult. Do you remember what she's trying to take a pic? <laughs> Top Maniac, buddy. She shouldn't take say until you start the quest. Oh, okay. So you don't know what you're taking a picture. I do. I'm taking a picture of. I just didn't want to see it. <laughs> oh, what do you? Uh, what do you think? Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know what the thing she's talking about is. I just know that she. Well, I just know what she wants me to do. Articuno. Uh, triple axle will probably be okay. Shadow rush will probably be okay because we all know triple axle is gonna miss. Probably. Triple well, axe doesn't do enough to knock him out. Man, it didn't miss. I don't know what's going on with Top Maniac, but he be missing a lot today. He be missing a lot. His accuracy is uh, not doing too hot. So instead, I'm going to use Top Maniac to perform the ultimate play in Great Ball. And we're going to Shadow Rush again. Top Maniac, you did something with your. It's almost like we have Hustle. I know we don't, but... <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know if this is, like, uh, games coded wrong for Scarlet and Violet. Um, oh, cool. Uh, apparently, Eevee a lot works on Diplin. Like... Maybe it just hints something for Indigo Disc. Could be. Very well could be. But it's like how you just got a slow poke that you couldn't evolve until you actually got the DLC. Yeah. All right, Top Maniac, Ultra Ball. We really should buy balls. And Articuno, Call. Oh, interesting, the ball goes before the call. How do you feel about Ball Call? Call Ball. Do you call your balls? 
every day. Gotta make sure they're working as intended for catching stuff. Articuno's gonna go down here, but that's okay. That did negative uh, things, by the way. Oh, by the way, I don't know if they did this in Sword and Shield. Did normal coughing get neutralizing gas? Uh, so Galarian Weezing got purifying gas, I'm pretty sure. No, it was okay. neutralizing gas for Galarian Weezing, is what it was called. I know that, but normal coughing has it now too, which I think yeah, is good. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Uh, my Zora got untransformed. <laughs> unillusioned. Did you transform and then it popped in and it just like unillusioned it? It came out. It, it came out in illusion that purifying gas activated, then it untransformed. <laughs> nice. I uh, do you know what shiny coughing looks like? It's blue. Oh, is it? Yeah. I feel like I missed so many shinies like playing through it because like I was looking, and Swaddle has like a negative shiny because uh, it's the grass top curse. Um, and I'm like, uh oh, is, uh, does, <laughs> do we not have the way of, uh, of seeing, like, a good swaddle, like, if it's shiny? Because it's, like, barely any different, because of course it is. Uh, so, I feel like I missed a bunch Swaddle of is, like, it's, like, orange under its clothes, right? What, sw uh, swaddles? Yeah. It's, like, a little bit, yeah. Uh, triple axle and... Why is this coughing, wheezing, harder to catch than Articuno? We caught wheezing. That also, was pain. Also, apparently, uh, you very, very easily tell if coughing is shiny because not only is it blue, it spits out purple gas instead of brown one. Oh, that is really easy to see. If you're mean to me, I'm gonna cry, okay? Are we mean to her? Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Making a little girl cry. It's how not very you, little. How could you, Def? Dude, is that a picture of a layer on? It is. Dude, is that his Sui and Basculin? No. Are you being serious or are you joking? I can't tell what that is. This is a low That's Zigzagoon. I think, though, that this is probably a good spot for us to call it. Because uh, I feel like we've got a little dungeon going up. You know? A little, little dungeon-y action coming up. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, any final words, Def? No. Cool. Go catch your Hisuian uh, Basculin in Pokemon Coliseum. There's your words. Anyways, bye you guys. Later. Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's hard to believe we're over a thousand subscribers and we're marking our way up to 2,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time.